E minus two hours and counting. When the clock strikes midnight, the deadline to file your taxes expires. So the final push is on tonight to get that paperwork in the mail. Cynthia Newsom joins us from the post office at 17th and Cleveland in downtown Kansas City. Cynthia? Hello, Mark. Talk about customer service. Check this out. You don't even have to get out of your car to drop off your taxes here at 17th and Cleveland. Now, the post office actually has this booth set up right in the middle of the street. You would think that with three extra days this year to file, that there wouldn't be this long line and steady stream of traffic that I've seen for at least 30 minutes here, but there is. And all of these procrastinators have a reason for waiting. The final day for filing taxes is like a waltz, and Monterey Kashani's dancing fingers have been clicking away all day, almost nonstop. Well, every time I looked up, the uh, lobby is full of people. Now serving nine, three, seven. People full of reasons for waiting until the very last minute. My W-2 seems to have got lost, drifted, or never mailed to me. A steady stream of cars lined up at this mailbox, just in time. I'm actually mailing my son's taxes for him, and he owes money. So, you know, you wait till the last minute to pay. Assembling all the information and getting it all together, it's just it's easier to put it off until you have to deal with it. And being called a procrastinator is not a bad thing in this crowd. I'm a procrastinator, but still, but still on time, so that's fine with me. So when the clock strikes midnight, this final tax day waltz will come to an end, and Monterey's dancing fingers can finally take a bow. I am extremely relieved, yes. We're happy that this is over for a while. <laughs> Until tax time next year. Now, many last-minute filers told me that they uh, would have preferred e-filing, but they couldn't because they owed money and they had to mail the check. And other people said they simply didn't want to pay the extra money that it cost to e-file. Now, the post office here at 17th and Cleveland will be open until midnight tonight. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News.